You're recording? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ladies, hello, I have a quick question. Would you like to participate in our video? No, thank you. All right, all right, cool. <laughs> Ladies, I have some quick questions. You want to participate in our video? No, thank Sorry. you. Okay. Yo, brother, do you want to participate in the video? No. I am in flow state. I <laughs> am. Do not touch me while I inflow. Yeah, I inflow. <laughs> Yo, I have some questions. You guys want to participate in a video? No, no, no. Cool. Okay. <laughs> you want to participate in a video? We're asking some cool, thought-provoking questions. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right, cool, cool. All right, let's come over here. Let's come over here. Let's go. We'll, we'll do it this way. We'll face it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what's up? What's your name? Jason. Jason, yeah. I'm Atlas. Good to meet Atlas, you. Atlas, nice to meet you awesome. as well. Jason, our first question is, do we all come from the same source? Uh, yes. Now, does that mean we are all one? Yes. All right, Jason, next question. Does that mean our consciousness, our awareness is shared? Thing. And will you elaborate a little bit on how you've come to the realizations that we come from the same source, that we are one and that our consciousness is shared? Um, I think it goes back to uh, a belief in a higher power greater than myself. And, uh, yeah, I think we're all sp spiritual creatures and we all share energy. Uh, yeah, so I think we are all breathing the same breath in essence. Yes, yes, yes. So, another way to play with this is to ask you, how many different ways are there to paint a blank canvas? Infinite. Infinite. How many different ways are there to organize musical notes into songs? Infinite. How many different ways are there to vibrate vocal cords to make languages? How many different ways are there to put food together into recipes. <laughs> May this reality just be one expression of infinite possibility. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks for letting me be a part of your life and thanks for being a part of my life. <laughs> it's that simple, right? Yeah, yeah. One appearance out of an infinite possibility. I love it. Beautiful, Jason. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, that was so nice. That was so nice. Yeah, was so sir. great. Yeah. You rock, bro. Thank you. My pleasure, Thank you. Man. Thanks for joining us. Very man. Man. Yeah. Cool. Day. Cool. You too. <laughs> yeah, it's hella trippy, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. That's a good start. Yeah, good start. Yeah, good start. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yo, do you guys want to participate in the video? Answer, answer some thought-provoking questions. It's super fun. Yeah, exactly. It's, just trippy, <laughs> yeah. Shit. Like, it's questions shirt. like that. What is it? Questions yeah. like this shirt. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Cool. Let me uh, let me come here into kind of like the middle of the area. All right. So so my, my my name's Atlas. What are your names? Shar. Shar. Cool. Jamal. Jamal. Krista. Krista. Shar. Jamal. Krista. All right. So. Our first question is, what do you think is the nature of reality? What is the point of reality? Nature of reality? Uh, to live every moment as much as you can? Amen, amen. The nature of reality to uh, a really big distraction to get your mind off of what's really going on with, your, with being human? With like the human experience, like distraction from the human experience basically. <laughs> He's like, ah. um, I think it's whatever you want it to be. What is the role of consciousness in reality? To make you aware of what's going on. Uh, to guide you to make you choices in life. How would you invent about consciousness in this, on this planet? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how you love know this <laughs> I know. It makes me nervous. <laughs> do we all come from the same source? Well, that's it. What do you mean by source? <laughs> what do you mean by source? What do you mean by source? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
I come from my mom, so <laughs> where does your mom come from? Um, I mean, I'm a chemistry nerd, so I think we're just all particles in this universe combined together to make whatever we are. Would we be all one? Yeah, I think we're all one. And when you die, you know, you become the particle again and somebody else becomes you. Do we share our source? Do we all share our same source? I believe so, yes. Even if we're in our own zone, we're on the same source, we're in the same source. Yeah. And then... Would that then mean that our consciousness is also shared if we share our same source? Yeah, I think it is. I think we all, as humans, have a very interconnected consciousness. Sometimes it strays away from one another, sometimes it doesn't. Yes, I second that. Just like this to speak. So could it could it be then that the same observation or the same witnessing is happening from all of our perspectives at the same time? Right now? I would say yes, but that kind of ties back to the first question of what is reality? Because you know your reality might be different from my reality. It's based on circumstances. I think we're just all a puzzle, and like the little small pieces of that puzzle. So what you see, what I see kind of all add up to a picture. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think we're pissed off that it's so complex. <laughs> yeah, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not more simple than, you know? It can be, but it's not. That's, that's complicated. How many... <laughs> okay, last questions. Okay. How many different ways can we paint a blank canvas? How many different colors do you have? That's a math question right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, limitless possibilities. You can paint them. Could, Every one is different. Could we say that our nature is limitless possibilities? It is. Um, human nature? Is that what you mean? Our nature in the more, most macro level possible. And what was the question? <laughs> Is our nature limitless possibilities? Uh, no, I think we're limited. But we have a huge... Um, there are a lot of possibilities, but it is limited. How would painting the blank canvas get limited? You can only have so many, so many... Let's say there are an endless amount of colors. How many, then why would it be limited? Um, you run out of ideas. Is it possible to run out of ideas? Good. Maybe for you, canvas. not for me. <laughs> <laughs> your right here. <laughs> that's, that's limited. This is constantly moving endlessly, different colors, endlessly. That might yeah. be your nature. <laughs> and your ours. perspective. Let's fight. Yeah. You, can, you can run out of perspective space. Yeah. It's shut off. Cool, and last question is, what do you think is most beautiful? Human. Just me. Amen. Uh, human connection. Any specific aspect that you really like a lot? Uh, I think that we can relate to each other more so than you think. Nature. What's the most beautiful? Nature. We're all part of it. We're all beautiful. Amen. Thank you guys so much. That was dope. Thank you. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. If you guys want to um, check out, I'll, I'll, I'll share it with you. you. Go to YouTube. I don't this. <laughs> yeah. So my name's Atlas. What's your name? Uh, Ryan. Good to meet you, Ryan. Thank you for. Are you the uh, king of Atlantis, or you know? Yeah, he knows. He knows. Well, I'm a Castilian, so. Nice. <laughs> nice. Ryan, thanks for stopping and answering a couple phone questions. First question is, what do you think is the nature of reality? What is the point of reality? Well, I mean, reality is perspective. You know, I mean. And Believe me, if, if you're looking for general answers, you're talking to the wrong guy on this because this is what I'm out here searching for, you know? So, I mean, uh, but, you know, it's, your reality is what you make of it, you know? And, uh, 
it's as simple as that, you know. I mean, if you want, you know, things can be, I mean, I got my wallet stolen on the bus the other day, you know, so I'm kind of stuck out here for the time being, but if you got to be stuck somewhere, you know, we're better than here, like. Mm -hmm. So. Will you elaborate a bit on the answer of perspective, reality being so deeply rooted in perspective, perception? Well, I'm pretty sure the Roman Catholic Church wrote my family out of history, you know, and has been hunting us down for the last 2,400 years, you know, but, you know, that's not the perspective anybody else is going to have on it, but, um, you know, it's all interconnected, you know, science, uh, I guess spiritual, I don't call it religion, you know, that's, you know, you're perverting faith at that point, you know, for some, for your own personal gain, and, uh, I, it, you know, I mean, it, I, lo I love the generalness of it, man, you know, I, you want to be a little more specific i might be able to you know help uh, dial you in you know do we all come from the same source i don't believe so elaborate for us uh i believe they're what was here before you know and then you know what <sighs> it's hard just talking about it with you know but i you know like i said i've been doing a lot of research here over the last three months since i took this test and uh you know, I, I know who my parents are, and I'm trying to figure out how my DNA traces back. And I come from the ancestry DNA, uh, 11 different regions, you know, with my mom being full-blooded Scottish. And the rest of it, I am about a percent each Scandinavian. Uh, the rest of it comes right out of the heart of the Niger River Delta, Mali, uh, Nigeria, you know, and, you know, but there's nothing in between. So how does, you know, how do you get from there to Scandinavia, you know, and... Uh, so go back in the lineage far enough. Do we all come from the same source? I, you know, I can't. I can't say that for sure, and I don't want to. You know, fair, fair, fair. But uh, would it, would it be that the perspective, the perception that we were talking about earlier, could that be shared? Could that witnessing or the observer that's here in these units could it be shared? Absolutely. You know, I think. I mean, just the fact. You know, you're standing here doing this. You know, and. I mean, I don't know what, you know, your end goal or your end game in this is, you know, but it doesn't seem to be for any, you know, malicious intent or, you know, it's, you know, I believe understanding is the highest form of love, you know, and, you know, I grew up in the church, so, you know, that word's thrown around very uh, loosely, but, you know, what is, are you willing to put the work in, you know, or, you know, is it just when the time comes to say it in front of the camera, you know, are you willing to, you know, you know, say it then, but when it comes time for the rubber to meet the road, you know, you're nowhere to be found. I mean, that's, you know, I, I yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it is what it is. I mean, it's, that's right. That's right. But, so, so what do you, if you don't mind me asking you guys, what are you, you know, what is it? I mean, like, obviously, you know, you're just out here asking questions and, you know, I'm a big fan of asking questions. I kind of like to be the one to ask because I got a lot of tough questions I think I need answered, you know, but what are you guys uh, here for? Yeah, we'd be happy to field your questions. Well, we came out here to ask people thought-provoking questions to capture solid answers, stitch them together into a project called Infinivlog. Okay. And then disseminate that across our channels, social channels. So. And what, you know, I mean, you have social channels, which, I mean, you know, that's what life is about being social. What is your end goal in this? You know, what do you, I mean, obviously understanding it seems like, you know, something you're seeking, but. Have you heard this song by NWE? Express yourself. Do, 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 uh, you know, it's been a while, you know. I, I, I am familiar, yeah, yeah, but. That, uh, that's, that's what we're doing. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> kind of threw me for a loop there, you know, but I can dig it. Um, <laughs> it, it is a loop. The, the entire creation is one expression. How many different ways can you paint a blank canvas? Infinitely, you know. I mean, it's uh, you can leave it blank, you know, and it's up to the people to determine, you know, what's, you know, you could take a blank canvas and paint it white, and, you know, I mean, does anybody gonna know the difference, or? Mm -hmm. May that then be what this is, is one way to paint that blank canvas. It absolutely can be, you know. It's and like I said, it's come down to your perspective. You know, I mean, you're out here doing, you know, this and. I mean, what's the best question that you have for us? Oh, well, my, all mine are science related. Let's I mean, hear, I don't. Um, let's hear, we love science. Fair. Uh, you know, people want to know how they built the pyramids. You know. Do you know who John Herrera is? No, 
Oh, sure. So, according to the people, you know, he's an architect. You know, I, I, I know you guys got your phone here, but... So, as far as talking about my lineage, this is as far back as I could trace it. And uh, So, you have a deep interest in anthropology and archaeology, how we got to where we're at today, is that right? Exactly, you know, and I mean, more so how I got, because I was adopted out, you know, my, you know, my birth mother, you know, I couldn't, you know, handle responsibility, she made the right choice, but... And I don't want to put anything, but you know, I feel like the people who took responsibility for me could have done a better job in helping me find myself, you know, instead of me being 34, you know, out here wandering around, you know, and, but, so this is what I found looking here. Maybe that's the point of your adventure. I, you know, I mean, I believe every, you know, I'm a United fan. Yes, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm a United fan. Like we just got a big win against City today. You know, we played it the right way, and it's. I believe it's in how you do things. You know, it's. So, are you familiar with the Alcazar of Segovia? No, you can show Mariah also. Yes, here we go. There's a. Uh, ah, okay. Tell me what he's looking at on that piece of paper there. Yeah, you can go and blow it up, I'm not, you know, I'm not one of those people like, just don't swipe too far left or anything, you know. Yeah. I am human. Yeah, yeah. Would you call it a Stargate, maybe? Oh, that's a good way to put it, yeah, a gateway, Stargate, yeah, mm -hmm. good stuff. Just yeah. like the show, like, I mean, and so people ask how they build the pyramids, you know, and let me show you the Alcazar here. We, we want to also yeah, 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 please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that little Stargate right there. I mean, this, like I, I said, mean, this was a picture yeah, painted. Yeah, it's hard to see way. it, it's hard to yeah. see it. Yeah, you know, like I said, I was just looking at the picture, you know, looking at the beard, thinking, hey, you know, and then all of a sudden, like, I started looking at what this man's looking at in the paint, you know, and I'm like, you know, it made me wonder. And then, let me find the Alcazar here for you. Okay. I call it the, it's in, it's in southern Spain, it's now property of the Spanish government, but, you know, uh, for ten generations, it was the residence of the Castilian kings, you know, yeah. King Alfonso and... He did the Alphonsine tables, uh, it's, you know, that's the other thing, you talk about archaeology, but not just that, I'm interested in astronomy, I look to the sky, you know, and, totally. but, you know, being from southern Indiana, everyone looked at me like I was crazy, because I wasn't drinking beer, trying to drive a big truck, you know, and, you know, I, that, it, what's that matter, you know, and they, out here, I don't see much, well, they're playing beer drinking, but, you know, there's not a, lot, a whole lot of big truck driving, being dumb hillbillies, you know, and, like, there has to be more to the world, and, you know, I had a friend of mine who set out, you know, four years ago, he left the Chicago Stock Exchange, he was a very successful commodities broker and sailed around the world. Went down to the Cayman Islands, you know, yeah, bought a boat, yeah. told his buddies he took a captain's course, come to find out it was just the booze cruise, you know, but that's the kind of guy he was, you know, but, you know, he was the warrior, he was the one who'd bring the others home, you know, and it's, uh... Would, would it be fair to say that you're seeking the nature of reality right now? You're seeking the nature yeah, of your uh, own expression in it. I, you know, I, I don't quit, but yeah, I would say that would be a fair, you know, uh, assessment. You know, I don't, you know, I mean, reality is, like I said, reality is what you make of it. You know, I could be out here, you know, like, complaining about all this down here, you know, and all that. But, you know, that's somebody else's, you know, that's their reality, you know, and if that's, they're happy in it, you know, like I said, I for 33 years. I'll, I'll ask a follow-up question. Okay. Ryan, have you spent time investigating the seer itself, that which is seeing. Your uh, consciousness, your like, awareness, have you investigated that? Yeah, I feel like that's kind of where I'm at now, you know, I'm kind of, you know, it's almost like, you know, I hate, you know, there's that's so many, the key. there's so many cliches out there, like being woke, you know, and like, you know, people will say that shit, you know, and what, what are you really woke, you know, I mean, I, I mean, that sounds cool to say and music and stuff and all, but I mean, like, I feel like in describing myself, I'm an empath, you know, like I can relate to anybody because I've been in everybody's shoes, you know, I've been at the top of the top, you know, and I've literally lived in a, you know, 10 by 10 climate controlled storage unit before, you know, for a hundred bucks a month, so I wasn't homeless, and, you know, so I can't, you know, that's key. If there was one of the things for your questions mm -hmm. that you have for people, recognizing consciousness or awareness and being really fundamentally aware of being aware is instrumental in the nature. Yeah, you know, if somebody's going to tell you they're aware and then turn around and, you know, run into that sign, you know, I'm, I'm going to have a hard time believing, you know, that you're really aware of your surroundings, you know. 
it's not aware of surroundings, it's aware of awareness itself, being aware of perception itself. Now, at, at some point, now let me ask you, do you feel at some point becomes a little too, you know, I mean, because they're, you know, depth is infinite, you know, I mean, you can go as deep as you want, you know, but at some point we still live in a world where they're walking by, you know, they're standing there. How do you reconcile that? Reconcile what? The, you know, the infinite depth with the, you know, uh, I don't want to say shallowness, but, you know, there has to, you know, we, you can't have a thousand people existing on a thousand different planes, you know? A society, you know, will not function in that manner. A successful society. I mean, you ha there has to be levels, but it can't, you know... Here, here, this, this would be... Reconciliation comes from the investigation, like what you're doing right now. Exactly. Okay. Now, the investigative process, the more that it focuses on the external, the less quick it will be, the more you'll encounter suffering. The more the investigative process focuses on the internal, focuses on the actual awareness or the consciousness that is present on a moment-to-moment -moment basis here with you, and here with me, and there with Mariah, and right. with each one of these agents. Okay. The more that we recognize that that awareness or that you use the word agent there, I have to because see to me an agent, you know, they they that person has an agenda, you know. I mean that's you know agent agenda. Okay, you can you know? use unit, right? Okay. So okay, so that's what you meant when you said you know a, a you know a. Well, I, I like to call it a soul, you know, whether some people unit, have it. Okay. Soul. Okay. So now the next thought is to go from the place of being super aware of consciousness or awareness itself to then recognizing that that awareness of that consciousness is shared among the 8 billion units. And that's where I'm at right now. You're exactly, that, that's what I'm trying to get. You know, I know who I am now. You know, it took me 33, 34 years to find it. You know, now I just need to find it. You know, I guess that where, you know, that 8 billion units you talk about is the society I refer to. You know, how everything interacts and, you know, you know. Get that's, yeah, I'm trying to find that sweet, sweet middle ground, you know, and, uh, so that next step that you said is where you're at, which is recognizing that the awareness around the 8 billion units is shared. Getting to that point makes it so that when you see another unit, like here Mariah, mm -hmm. or here Ryan, here Atlas, that these units don't actually have separate awareness, that the awareness is one awareness seeing through Ryan's costume. Seeing through Atlas's costume, seeing through Mariah's costume. But the awareness itself that is seen through those costumes is the same shared awareness. And then the utility of it is that then what happens is that I would never hurt myself. You're exactly right. You know, it's, I mean, it, and that's where kind of like seeing these people, you know, 10 years ago, you know, I would have been, oh, yeah, yeah, this and that, you know. It, but you know what, after being there, you know, and just make, you know, like you said, they're they're the kind of people that it's you know they're externalizing it. It's taking them a little bit longer, you know, to find, it. you know. But you know, you have so much thrown at you today, especially in this day and age of social, you know. And uh, you know, I've been reading a lot. You know, I'm a big fan of science, as you can tell. Like, 90% of what's being put out there is scientific news. It's nothing more than thoughts or conjecture, you know. And you know, as a, like a, I was taught away, like going to Catholic grade school. That, you know, when I got out into the real, I guess, you know, the, the, the scientific, you know, there is gravity, you know, there's something that's keeping us from floating away, you know, it's like, and, you know, I was taught creationism, like God created the world in seven days, but the logical me, you know, is like, there's no way one man created all this in seven days, you know, I mean, now. So it, the, the God that is referenced, that's been perverted by religion, which is what you mentioned earlier, right? Yes. That the God is no different than consciousness, no different than awareness. Awareness or consciousness that is shared among the 8 billion units, that is what is meant in the spiritual traditions exactly. by Spirit. God. Yes. Yes. So, See, that's so the you are the seer. You are God. God is consciousness. God is awareness. We all are that. So it's not separate. In John, John 1030, is I and my Father are one. Tatvam Asi in the Sanskrit tradition means we are that, you are that. You, you know, are I, it, I, I believe, highest. you know, and then you can even go back to, you know, the philosophical of Plato, you know, I think, therefore I am, you know. I mean, if you're not thinking, what are you, you know? And I mean, it, it, you know, it, it's a question, you know, but that's a question that everybody has to answer for themselves. And, 
you know, not everyone's going to come up with the same answer. And I feel like that's where, you know, that community is finding the people that have that same answer to the question you do, you know, and living, you know, at that point, you know, instead of not having to worry, you know, it's like. Do you think there's one truth? I, I have to believe there's one truth because anything that has more than one version is a lie, you know? I mean, now it, there's perspective and stuff, but that's just that. It's a perspective. It's not a truth or a lie, you know? I mean, and but people want to put their perspective to being the truth, and then everybody else who, you know, disagrees with that, you know, either they're liars, they're wrong, you know? And now you see how we can merge what we were just talking about where there's the 8 billion units that have their subjective perspectives and then that have the one truth of being conscious or aware, which is what we share. So the one truth is the consciousness or awareness and then the subjectivity is the unique experience or perception. And then I think that even that, the subjectivity is coming to that up because you know, I mean. Totally. You know, because I mean, I'm sure you might feel a little differently than what I've said, you know, I don't know a whole lot about how you feel, you know, but I, you know, I feel like you would be somebody I consider of my try, you know, a thoughtful person, you know, somebody who... Likewise. You know, and that's all you can ask for, you know? I mean, like I said, I've, I've been walking up and down here, you know, for a few miles, you know, and it's like everybody wants a buck, you know? I mean, there's some people just doing their thing, skating, riding, you know, but... Like, I mean, interaction is what humanity is, you know? I mean, if, you know, everyone wants Amen. to live this life on their own, you know, or live it in their little box and... Uh, you just can't do it, you know, and... Uh... It's a mirroring of that awareness to each other. I don't see a different awareness when I look at you. I see the same awareness undergoing a mirroring process. Right, and like I said, I, you know, you guys are obviously out here doing this, so, you know, you're, you know, you have a, a, a avenue, a, you know, media to express it in, you know, I'm, you know, I've come to realize this is where I'm going to come back to to write, you know, and... Beautiful. I mean, it's, you know, there's certain things, but there are certain things, you know, I mean... People like you know need to like clarify you know like I believe I'm big on define you know like people don't like definition you know but that lends itself to ambiguity you know there's a difference between freedom and security you know and there's a difference between objectivity and subjectivity you know but people don't want to recognize that they just want to you know yeah I don't you know we just talked about that a moment ago right. eight billion units have the subjective perspectives but the one objectivity is the awareness or the source the consciousness itself okay source okay i like that word you know like what what source do, what, what is your you know i guess your source you know because mine is my you know we 33. All share. go back go back go back as right. far as you can science calls it the big bang go back as far as you can we all come from the same source so in, in, in that you know yes i do believe that you know i mean I, there you go so then the, is the awareness shared at, in that sense yes absolutely now here's my question though you know because i am a fan of a strong like, how do we know what we know about the universe? Because, you know, like, I fully, you know, they talk about Pangea, 250 million. Most people can't remember what they did a year ago. So, I mean, how are you telling me these scientists have a concept of 250 million of those, you know? Like, to me, if you ask me, like, the Earth is, you know, from Pangea was probably around 30,000 years ago, you stay, know? Stay with, stay with where we just were. Okay. You already know that you're coming back here to write and to be present here because you like the vibes. Right, the good vibes. So here would be the thing is, Ryan, recognize not the externalization of perception, but recognize the very act of perceiving itself and recognize the act of perceiving here and there and here. Recognize more and more perception itself and recognize that that itself, that consciousness, that awareness, that that is the nature of reality. That that is, that agent is the nature of reality. That we need this perception, this awareness, and we're able to experience this. Okay, question, last mm -hmm. question. Yeah. What is most beautiful? Nature. I mean, the, you know, I mean, what time takes to build, you know, I mean, you can't. I mean, like I said, I, I'm, I'm out here from Colorado, you know, from southern Indiana, you know, so for 30 years I grew up with nothing but, you know, dirt bags and, you know, flat land. I moved out to the mountains and, you know, it was good for me, but. It wasn't what I was looking for, you know. I mean, it's a different kind of active out there than it is out here, you know. And you know, it's just I feel like everybody's what time takes to build nature. Those movies. Yeah, it's you know, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's Dave Matthews, you know. I mean, it's uh, it, you know, like you talked about, you know, NWA, but like you know, to me, like there's songs like "No Church in the Wild," you know, what's totally. a god to a non-believer, you know, and. Uh, 
you know, like I said, music is something that's helped me get to where I'm at today. And uh, Revolution, the album Courage to Grow. I mean, if you're looking for that, you know, internalization, you know, listen to that album, you know, because that is one thing that kept, that got me out of the corporate grind. I mean, and here's the thing, I've sold telecom for at and I've sold software for Likewise. Autodesk. Yeah, yeah, U-verse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, what you sick totally. for? I think so, that was at the time. It's, the ICL, you know, it's like It's been you, a long time, yeah. Where'd you work for? 2012 was when I was, yeah, so it's been nine years. Been Where were you at? Were you out the here? Bay Area. Bay Area. Okay, up north. So uh, I can't put Malcolm Alavia running that area, or maybe that sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, big larger black guy, you know. Mal yeah, like, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Malcolm's a real good dude, you know. But um, you know, like I said, that's one thing that just I got out. You know, I mean, I'm sure that taught you a lot about. That's how you can walk up to people like you do me, and you know, sales is such a key in that sense. Build rapport fast. And not just that, but like when you're, you know, here, you know, we're in neutral ground. You know, back then we were walking up to people's houses, you know, and, and getting their credit card info in five minutes. Now. Exactly. You know, like it's a five minute friend deal. You know, yeah. and like so many people I've worked with doing that. You know, oh, that's a crock. That's a scam. It's a multi level marketing. Uh, last time I checked, a Walton hasn't stepped foot in Walmart probably in 30 years. So how is that any different? You know, all, all, for, all we're doing is we're just providing people with a better service. If they choose to, we just educate them about it. That's it. And, and, and most of them had AT and T on the old stuff, anyways. Yeah. You know, so like I said, you know, I mean, that's that's funny, this man. Has you been know, great. Right. Hey, I, Alex, it was brother. a pleasure. I, I'll be up and down. I might catch up with you it. again. So I love all right? it. I love it. This was a blast. You too, man. You guys okay. take care. Okay. See I really you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Introduce the guys.